The next seven modules will cover the numerous pests that eat plant foliage as well as a few flower eating specialists. The vast majority of these pests eat the plant foliage with their chewing mouth parts so the obvious symptoms will be that parts of the leaves are missing. In some cases the pest may consume an entire leaf so that only the petiole or leaf stem remains. We call these pests defoliators. Others have specialized feeding techniques where they eat only the margin of a leaf or just the surface of a leaf. Still others make nests entirely out of the plant leaves or using silk. Finally we'll cover the leaf miners which have larvae that actually feed inside the leaf tissues. As stated in the previous module, we will divide the foliage eating insects into three groups. Those that are general leaf or needle eaters are usually caterpillars and sawfly larvae. When mature, these larvae often defoliate parts of a plant and when large populations outbreak, they can completely defoliate a plant. Other foliage eating pests feed in a very particular manner. They can be pit feeders, which make holes in leaves, skeletonizers that eat the soft tissues between the leaf veins, and notchers that only feed along the margins of leaves. Other foliage eating pests protect themselves by making cases, homes of leaf tissues, or silk tents. Some of the most difficult to identify foliage eating pests are the defoliators. These are generally caterpillars or sawfly larvae. I often call them hit artists as the adults can lay a batch of eggs on a host plant seemingly at random. The young larvae that hatch often hide on the undersides of leaves and may move about on the plant that helps them elude detection and predation. They often just nibble parts of leaves and may feed primarily at night. When they become large, these larvae begin to consume entire leaves and will feed constantly. In many cases, this defoliation can occur in a few days and the plant owner may miss the larvae which have dropped from the plant to pupate. Defoliators may or may not repeat their damage year to year. The most common general defoliators are species of caterpillars, the larvae of butterflies and moths, or sawfly larvae. Both groups have larvae that are thick bodied and they have stumpy leg-like structures on the abdomen called prolegs. The only real way to separate caterpillars from sawflies is to count the number of prolegs. Caterpillars have five pairs or fewer while sawfly larvae have seven to nine pairs of prolegs. There is another difference, but you need good magnification to see it. Caterpillar prolegs have a series of hooks on the tips called crochets, while sawfly prolegs do not have these hooks. Here's a side view of a mature polythemus caterpillar. You can see the three pairs of thoracic legs and the fleshy prolegs. In this case, the five pairs are present. Loopers or inchworms usually have the first two or three pairs of prolegs missing. While you may not be able to see the crochets or hooks on the prolegs, you can usually feel them. If you have the caterpillar on your finger and try to pull it off, the prolegs feel that they are sticking to your finger. In this white pine sawfly, you can also see that it is caterpillar shaped and it has the three thoracic legs. However, if you count the prolegs, once you get past five pairs, you are looking at a sawfly larva, not a caterpillar. Most of the common sawflies have eight pairs of prolegs, but different families can have seven to nine pairs of prolegs. Sawfly larvae easily fall off of your finger because the prolegs don't have the sticky crochet hooks.
Many foliage eating insects, especially beetles and smaller caterpillars and sawflies, make holes in the membranes of leaves. When these holes are made in fully expanded leaves, the holes generally remain small and regular in outline. If the holes are made when the leaves are still expanding, they become enlarged and become irregular in shape. Weevils and some caterpillars and sawflies only eat leaves along their margins. This produces a notched appearance. Still other beetles, caterpillars, and sawfly larvae feed only on the leaf epidermis, leaving the veins behind. This type of damage is called skeletonization. Here are some examples of hole makers. The little striped flea beetle adults make feeding pits that often leave the lower epidermis intact. However, this lower epidermis soon dries and drops out, making a small round shot holes in the leaves. Many caterpillars also make holes in leaves, especially when they are small. However, caterpillar species that become quite large usually change their feeding habits and consume entire leaves. At that time, they then become defoliators. The most common leaf notchers in our landscapes are several species of weevils. However, young caterpillars and sawfly larvae can also be notchers. Unfortunately, the weevils usually hide during the day and may be difficult to find, but the caterpillars and sawflies usually remain on the leaves during the day, though they may be hiding on the undersurfaces of those leaves. Skeletonizers can be beetle adults or larvae, caterpillars or sawfly larvae. Skeletonized leaves usually have the upper or lower epidermis remaining as well as leaf veins. However, crude skeletonizers eat out all of the tissues between the major veins. Skeletonizers can feed on the top or undersides of leaves. Sawfly larvae and caterpillars are often skeletonizers when small instars, but they may become general defoliators as they mature. Case bearers are usually small beetles that use small pieces of leaves to construct a pouch in which the larva hides, only poking its head out to feed on the foliage. The bagworms usually make bags of silk on which bits and pieces of plant foliage are attached. These insects increase the bag size as they grow. Leaf rollers, leaf folders, and leaf tires make nests by rolling up a single leaf folding over the edge of a leaf or tying together two overlapping leaves. Most of these are caterpillars that skeletonize the foliage within the protection of their nests. The tent caterpillars are generally represented by one species, the eastern tent caterpillar. Tent caterpillars build silk nests in the crotches of a tree. The caterpillars hide within the nest except when they emerge to feed on foliage elsewhere on the plant. Webworms are caterpillars or sawfly larvae that live in groups which web over or encase foliage in their silken nests. The larvae feed on this enclosed foliage and they expand the nests as they grow. Case bearers and shield bearers make small cases out of silk or pieces of plant leaves in which they hide from predators and parasites. They stick their heads out to eat the leaves of host plants. In the case of the elm case bearer, the larva actually mines patches of their host elm leaves. The common bagworm is one of our most common landscape plant defoliators. The larvae make a sack of silk onto which plant fragments are attached. This acts as pretty good camouflage and most miss this pest until significant defoliation has occurred. 
This pest feeds on many deciduous and coniferous hosts. When conifer branches are defoliated, those branches can't produce new needles, so they often die. Deciduous trees can send out secondary buds, and the branches survive. Leaf rollers, folders, and tires are pretty well described by their name. These pests are usually small species of caterpillars, and they often get their names from their favored host plants. The oak leaf roller larva rolls up the end of an oak leaf and feeds on the leaf tissues within this nest. The red bud leaf folder simply folds over the margin of a leaf and the sweet gum leaf tires tie together two close leaves. You can see that the sweet gum leaf tire larva has skeletonized the leaf from within the nest. Tent caterpillars are defined by making a silk nest in the crotches of tree branches. The caterpillars have to leave this nest and crawl to the foliage to eat where they are general defoliators. After feeding, the caterpillars return to the nest to avoid predators and parasites. On the other hand, webworms are the larvae of caterpillars or sawflies that web over the host plant foliage and they consume this foliage within the protection of the silk webbing. Tent caterpillar and webworm nests are unsightly, but attacks rarely hurt the long-term health of host trees. Leaf miners are a rather strange group of plant foliage eaters. All are the larvae of flies, moths, sawflies, or beetles. Each leaf miner often makes a characteristic mine in leaves. Serpentine miners make thin, wandering mines in leaves. Blotch miners make circular, oval, or irregular mines in a restricted area of a leaf. Comma miners start out as a winding trail and end up as a blotch shape. Of course, leaf miners that attack conifers are needle miners. Here are some examples of leaf miners. Some flies and caterpillars make serpentine mines that irregularly wander about on host leaves. The hawthorn leaf miner makes blotches along the margins of host leaves. Unfortunately, the pine needle miner damage is often mistaken for a needle fungus disease. However, if you hold the damaged needles up to the sun, you can see that they are hollowed out. This finishes our preliminary survey of foliage eating pests. Now let's discuss some of these pests in greater detail. Each pest has been selected to be an example of their particular group. While different species will be found in different regions or countries, their life histories and behaviors will be much the same.